Today you are going to get back your clay project and you might notice that it looks a little bit different than the last time you saw it. Last time you saw your clay project, the clay was gray, it was wet, it was smushable, you could change the shape, you could smooth things out, but you're gonna get a clay project back that has gone through a change. Your clay project has been put inside of the kiln. The kiln is kind of like a clay oven and it has been fired. Fired is kind of a fancy word for it's been cooked or baked. So your clay project has now been in the kiln and it has been fired. And once clay has been fired once, it looks like this. Now your clay project is hard, it is white, and it's also really, really fragile. So it's gone from this to this. Some kids, when they get their clay projects back, they say, Miss Aram, I don't like how this looks. Can I change the shape? Can I add something here? Can I smooth this out? And the answer is no. Once something has been fired once, it's kind of like it's been frozen and you can't really change it. However, we can add something else that is known as glaze. Glaze is like a special kind of paint that is made for pottery and ceramic items. And we're gonna be using glaze today to add some color and some extra detail to our work. Now glaze can be tricky because a lot of kids see their white pot and today when they leave, your clay project is going to look like this. It's gonna be dusty, chalky, and not very colorful at all. And that's because things that have been glazed actually have to go back into the kiln and be fired a second time and that heat from the kiln will essentially melt the glaze and it will go from looking like this to looking like this. You notice the colors are much brighter and the finish is much shinier. So these two pinch pots were actually made using the exact same colors. So this is what it looks like before it gets fired and this is what it looks like once it has been fired a second time. Today I'm going to provide you with a little test tile kind of ring that will show you what these colors become once they have been fired again. So for example, this kind of nice shiny dark color red, that is this glaze, but this is what it looks like just in the tray and this is how it will look once it's been fired. If you look here, this really pretty dark blue on my pinch pot, that is actually this one here in the corner. So that's really confusing because this one here looks purple. But this little test tile will show you what each of these colors looks like after they've been fired. So if you're not quite sure what it's gonna turn out to look like, you can just look here to see how it looks once it's been fired. When we are glazing today, two to three coats is really the best way to make sure that you get nice bright colors. If you look at this side of this pinch pot, it's kind of see-through and some areas don't look quite as shiny. This is an area where maybe somebody did only one coat, but if you look at the back of the pinch pot where it's a lot darker and a lot shinier, that's where they gave it three coats. So one coat kind of looks a little bit see-through. If you do two or three coats, you'll get that nice dark area of color. Now you might notice that there's one spot of my pinch pot or my clay project that has not been glazed, and that is the bottom. If you glaze the bottom, when it goes into the kiln, it's gonna get fire. That glaze will kind of heat up and melt. And when it cools down, your pinch pot or clay project will be stuck in the kiln. So you never glaze the part that touches the table when it's standing or kind of sitting the way you made your project. So you can glaze the inside, the top, the sides, just not the bottom, usually where your name is. This is gonna be your messy mat today. That way you don't get glaze all over the table. You're gonna choose one color for the inside of your pinch pot and a different color for the outside. And we will go back at the end to do some details. Remember that clay projects are three-dimensional, so be sure that when you're glazing, you're looking at all the different angles because a lot of times you forget something simply because it's been sitting still on your table. It's really important to look all the way around to make sure you're getting all the spots. Remember that when you're done using your first color, you wanna make sure you clean out your brush really well. If you just put it in and shake it around in the water cup, that does not take the glaze off. You've gotta push that brush all the way down to the very bottom of the bathtub. Tickle those toes on the bottom of the bathtub to really kind of agitate and get all of that glaze out of your brush. And then remember, if you're done and you wanna dry your brush off, you simply pull the brush's feet kind of against the edge of the tub. We don't need to tap it or karate chop it on the cup.
remember as you're glazing, make sure you're looking around all the edges. You don't want to forget any parts. And if parts look really, really thin, you need two to three coats all the way around. If you accidentally get some on the bottom, it's not a big deal. I can wipe that off the end. Just do your best to keep it off the bottom. Once you've finished, really check to make sure that you don't see any of the plain clay. If you see white in between your inside color and your outside color, make sure you make your two colors touch. There shouldn't just be any plain white, except for the very, very bottom. Once you finish your outside color and your inside color, you're gonna leave your big brush sitting in your water cup and you're gonna ask for a detail brush. Detail brushes are very, very small and you're gonna put a few extra little dots of color onto your pinch pot. It could be on the rim of your pinch pot or even down inside. Once you finish with your clay project or pinch pot, be very careful that you don't touch the areas that are still wet. We'll get those turned in. And remember, today when you leave, your pinch pot is gonna look and kind of feel dusty and dry but I am going to put it back into the kiln. We will fire it, and the next time you get it back, it should be a lot shinier and a lot brighter and also very smooth and glassy feeling.